Gorilla Tag has been around for a pretty long time, being released in 2021, and many things have happened in this time, from a massive surge in players to a three-month drought in content, leading almost to the demise of Gorilla Tag as we know it. All of these things have led up to now, but what if we change the outcomes of these events? What if Gorilla Tag wasn't ever launched out of beta? What if We Are VR never happened? What if all the content creators we love never found Gorilla Tag? In this video, we'll dive into the what ifs of Gorilla Tag. Before we start, I'd like to preface that we can't know exactly what would happen, but we can take some good estimated guesses. On May 8th, 2022, Lemon released the music update, which added, you guessed it, music. This update was revolutionary to the game, but not for the reasons you may expect. After this update, something was going on behind the scenes, which led Lemming to take a break from Gorilla Tag, which in short, killed the game. Creators that once kept the game alive began to quit due to lack of updates and a massive hacker influx. In total, Gorilla Tag wasn't updated for over three months, but what would happen if this didn't happen? If Lemming kept updating the game, I think the game would be even more popular than today. Because at the time Lemming originally released the music update, the game was increasing rapidly in popularity. And so I think if an update was released quicker, the game would be a lot more popular than it is today. I don't think there would be any huge changes currently, but we can't know exactly. On September 23rd, 2023, YouTuber VMT hosted the first ever Gorilla Tag Live event which was intended to have over 200,000 players online, but only reached 100,000, which is still a massive amount of players. This event was a huge success, with thousands of players joining the game to participate in this one-of-a-kind event. Even though, in Lemming's own words, the servers crashed, had a breath of air, died, died again, and then were crushed by a boulder, the event was a fun and enjoyable experience for everyone. But what if this event never happened? If VMT never planned VR VR, the game wouldn't have broken the world record for most concurrent players on a VR game. Obviously, we wouldn't have the two exclusive cosmetics that we got during the event. And most likely, the content creators that gained publicity from this event wouldn't be as popular because they didn't gain the publicity in this alternate timeline we are in. Let's go to a topic about a man that you are all probably familiar with, named J-Man Curly. J-Man Curly is a super popular content creator, having amassed over 2 million subscribers over his YouTube journey. In the beginning, before Gorilla Tag was even invented, J-Man Curly just did vlogs, he did a podcast, and other random things for people to watch. After a while, he found Gorilla Tag, and that's where he built his biggest audience and started to grow rapidly on YouTube. But what if he never found Gorilla Tag? If Jamin Curly never found Gorilla Tag, I don't think he would be as big as a YouTuber today, but I'm almost positive that he would have found a different game. And for people in today's standards, I would feel his content would be unrecognizable if he chose another game. Thank you all for watching this video. I had a great time thinking of ideas. And if you have any events you want me to cover, tell me in the comments. Thank you all so much for 100 subscribers. It means the world to me. I never thought I'd be this big. But the only way we can go from here is 1,000. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.